Hi guys, it's Zoom and a math person, and today I'll be going over question number 320 on the SOA exam P. So if you haven't tried it already, pause the video real quick and try it yourself. Okay, assuming that you tried the problem yourself, let's just dive right in. So this problem says, let x be a random variable that takes in the values negative 1, 0, and 1 with equal probability. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so that means all three of these values have to add up to 1. So that means each probability, each probability is equal to 1 third. 1 third and 1 third for each x. Um, let y equals x squared. Which of the following is true? Okay, so we have to use the covariance formula, formula here, which we know to be equal to the expectation of x and y minus expectation of x times the expectation of y. So let's just solve this problem out. So we can we also know that the y equals x squared here, so we can just plug that sucker in. So we get expectation of x times x squared minus expectation of x times expectation of, of x squared. We can solve this out independently. Oh, we also know this is equal to expectation of x cubed. So that's going to help us out with our math a little bit. So we know that the expectation of x, which is also equal to the expectation of x cubed, because, you know, you actually would just do it differently. Um, expectation of x is equal to negative 1 times 1 third plus 0 times 1 third plus 1 times 1 third which will just equal to 0. And the expectation of x squared, that's also pretty easy, right? The, um, negative 1 squared, which will be 1 times 1 third plus 0 times 1 third plus 1 squared is still 1, so that's going to be 1 third. This is going to be equal to 2 thirds. Expectation of x cubed is equal to negative 1 time negative 1 to the cubed power which is just still negative 1 do you see the pattern do you see why I said that ex and ex squared is the same yes because this is also going to be equal to 0 so now we can actually find the covariance the covariance is going to be equal to ex cubed which we found was 0 minus expectation of x which is um, 0 times 2 thirds that's still going to be 0 right so we can actually just eliminate these three variables, um, questions right here, because we know that covariance is equal to zero. Okay, now let's just check independence. Okay, so we have to check in our independence. The easiest way to do that is to find if the probability, to see if the probability of x and y is equal to probability of x times probability of y. And even the easiest way is just to find when x is equal to 0, is that equal to y equal to 0, so we don't have to find all of them for negative 1, 0, and 1, because if it's hold, if it's true for one, then we know that it's going to hold true for the others. Okay, so, we can just try to see if it, when it equals x, when it equals 0, the probability. And we also know that this is equal to our x, y is equal to our x squared, so we can just substitute that in. Make the math a little bit easier. And we also, and then, then we know that this is just equal to the prob probability that x is equal to 0. Because we can just combine it and it's going to be equal to the probability that it's equal to x cubed equals 0, which is still when x is equal to 0. So this is going to be equal to 1 third. And on the other side, when x is equal to 0, this is going to be equal to 1 third, because you know, and the x squared equals 0 is still 1 third, so this is going to be 1 ninth. 1 third is not equal 1 ninth, so we know this is dependent. That leaves us with answer number 